hello guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to make the IUPAC name for this molecule and we're going to do this based on the five box method i went over this on my tiktok channel so the five box method essentially says that any stereochemistry will be denoted in the first box any substituents are going to be denoted in the second box the parent chain will be denoted in the third box any unsaturation a part of the parent chain will be denoted in the fourth box and the top dog functional group which is the group that the molecule will be named after goes in the fifth box so we're always going to start at the fifth box so priority number one is finding our top dog functional group so there's a big long list i attached the photos to my video on my tiktok so check it out at chemistry academy there is a list that will rank the group's priority based on IUPAC. So here, any group that, for example, is not a C or an H, we can see there is a ketone, and we can see that there's two chlorine groups. So these are potential functional groups that could be the top dog. Based on the list, a ketone will win. So this is my top dog. So now every single functional group will have both a prefix and a suffix. The suffix is what you use if it is the top dog functional group. So here our top dog is a ketone. And now the suffix for a ketone, and these are things that you unfortunately have to memorize, is own. So I'm gonna put own in the last box. Okay, next. So I'm gonna go and see if there's any unsaturation, highlight the bond, yep, there's a double bond right there. So I have three options. I could either put an, in, or yin in the red box. But since there's a double bond, I'm going to put E-N, okay? We'll deal with the rest later. So now we must find the parent chain. So this is going to be the largest unbreakable chain in the molecule. So we want the top dog functional group to also be on the lowest number that we can achieve. So I would want this guy to be number two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm at a crosshair. I could go this way or I could go this way. If I go this way, I label seven. If I go the other way, I label seven, eight. So this way ends with a longer chain. So that would be my parent chain. Where eight is going to be oct. So oct. So we move on. So what are our substituents then? Well, our substituents then must be the chlorine groups because they were not the top dog group. They lost based on our ranking system which is once again something that you just have to memorize. But a good rule of thumb is that groups with oxygens are usually the best, groups with nitrogens are second best, and then halogens are third best. So here there's two chlorine groups. So that means there's dichloro. And then what carbons are they on? Well, they're on four and five dichloro because there's two of them. One, two, and then you have to denote in the gaps the numbers. So this guy is on numbers four and five dichloro. We also have two methyl groups. So these methyl groups also need to go in the substituent box. They're both on six. So we would say six, six dimethyl. And now we would put the methyl second because M comes after C, and we always put our substituents in alphabetical order. The di does not count. We base it on the functional group name. So chloro and then methyl comes next. So then finally, this brings us to our first box. We see that there is a double bond. Okay, so now we ask, okay, could this be labeled by E or Z um, or cis or trans? Well, we can see here that the two priority groups, the big groups, are on opposite sides of one another with the largest atomic radius. So this would be trans. Trans means opposite of me. Cis means same side as me. So this would be trans. Then we have our name. Then we have our name. And if we put this all together, we would say, okay, trans, and then the substituents, which we labeled in alphabetical order, so 4,5-dichloro-6,6-dimethyl, and then we had our parent number, oct, and then we had to denote the number, 
that the double bond started on. So the options were, it was on four and five, but we want to pick the lower number. So four and then N because of the double bond. And then two, because the top dog functional group was on carbon number two, own. If the top dog functional group was on carbon number one, you could put it there. It's not wrong or you don't have to. It is a little bit redundant. But here it was on number two. So you have to say two own, just like we denoted which carbons the substituents were on. We have to do that for both the double one and the top dog functional group. That's it. That's all. Hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any questions and leave them in the comment box down below and make sure to check out my tutorial on my TikTok where I went over the theory behind the five box system. Have a good day. And quickly, I want to note, because I feel like this would be a question, trans also corresponds to E in this question. You could have say, said E for they're on opposite sides or you could have put trans. It would have been the same thing where Z would have been they are on the same side. That's what I was told in first year of that little saying to remember it. And then E is when they're on opposite sides. So yeah, have a good day.